One of the most powerful weapons used for battling cancer is the early detection. Yes. Cancer specialists and doctors feel an early diagnosis can be an effective means to ward off the dangers of cancer. However, some experts think this can be a double-edged sword. Of course, it is true that the early stages of cancer are more treatable when compared to the later ones. Most of the leading cancer specialists feel that the advanced diagnostic and zealous screening would find out small abnormalities in thyroid, breast, and various other issues. These are often labeled as pre-cancer or cancer and aggressive treatment is followed, even though they never cause any harm. So, as a result of this, experts feel a lot of people are undergoing treatments, surgeries, chemotherapy, radiations, and other kinds of treatment unnecessarily, which often lead to everlasting side effects. Meanwhile, various statistical analyzes from medical journals have proven that about 580,000 Americans die due to cancer and that two most of them reach their deathbed for cancers that developed between the time of screening and it spreads quickly without any chances of stopping. Most medical experts feel that doctors are not finding enough lethal causing cancer and many of the cases are ones which are slow moving that probably don't need to be found. In addition, scientific experts and medical councils feel that a major change has to be initiated on how the cancer has to be detected, and even on how it can be treated. Various suggestions have come forward, which involves devising new screening means to target the dangerous cancers, create registries to keep a track on lower-risk cancers, and remove the term called cancer for describing those precancerous and slow-growing tumors. Calling them indolent lesions of epithelial origin or the idol will be a better option. However, the sad part is whenever patients hear the word called cancer, they assume it to be a disease that would progress, destroy the blood cells and vital organs of the body and lead to ultimate death. As per a recent findings found in a medical journal, people lose the hope to live as soon as they get diagnosed with cancer. Many physicians feel that people should be informative about the various kinds of cancer and they should act accordingly to it. Honestly, this new thinking could bring about a huge amount of radical changes to the world of cancer care, which amounts to about $100 billion in medical cost in the US alone each year. This is being embraced by many of the medical associations and journal agencies. It is quite clear that the harm of overdiagnosis and cost to individuals in the health system is hitting the medical system. The basic idea that not all types of cancer are deadly and life-threatening is greatly affecting the kind of treatment for prostate cancer. Doctors feel that this has drastically been able to reduce a small proportion of deaths caused due to cancer and helped in increasing the life expectancy of cancer patients. Even studies have shown that about 50% to 60% of the tumors that are detected while scanning grow quite slow and they never pose any kind of threat in the life of an individual. Treating them with radiation or surgery could create a substantial risk of incontinence and impotence. Vijoy likes to write a lot about medical and scientific studies. Being a journal publishing manager of a reputed university, it greatly helps him to identify the latest finding and scientific discoveries in the field of research.